Hey, Peter! We're watching more Family Guy OG episodes. And if you guys want us to watch the Family Guy Star Wars saga, then you better get this video to 15,000 likes. And if you want to hear our full uncut commentary, then head over to our Patreon. You can also get access to some exclusive series like Avatar The Last Airbender. And subscribe for free Peter Griffin news. Oh, look at Stewie. Isn't he adorable playing with the Sesame Street phone? Oh my god, Lois's voice is completely different. Did she start smoking in season two or something? <laughs> the smoking problem doesn't start till season five. Miss Sulu, I had Walt Nine. For God's sake, Peter, you've been sitting in front of the TV since you got home from work. Peter was so invested. Peter's just watching Orville right now. Oh my god. Dad? Yeah, I don't make the rules, honey. Now rev your engine twice. Okay. He rubbed his horse twice. It's so stupid. <laughs> Why did the horse explode? Man, this is taking forever. Come on, Meg, let's go. Fox is running one of those new reality shows at eight. Fast animals, slow children. Fast animals, slow children. This is a genius TLC show. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna lie. This this early season is making me realize that there's a subtlety and there's an art to the cutaway gag. They hadn't perfected the art of the cutaway gag yet. She's gonna rub her engine. <laughs> That's the only thing her father taught her. Were you gonna mark me down for not flipping him off? Oh god, my life is over. Did you guys ever fail your driver's test? Yeah, I failed it the first time. Dude, I failed my driver's test three times. The annoying part was uh, I failed the very first part of the test, but he made me do the entire test to get to the end and tell me I failed because of the first thing. No! Fast animal, slow child! We gotta pitch that show to TLC like we came up with it and family I didn't in 1999. Come on, you guys. We all did stupid stuff when we were kids, right? I remember this one time I tried to sneak into an R-rated movie. You know, people talk about early Family Guy being better, which I mean, I don't have an opinion one way or the other, but like, it has exactly the same amount of cutaway jokes. I know. Let's play a little game called Taking the Fall for Daddy. I, I hate looking at this because I know I'm going to play Fortnite later today and still not get Peter because I still have to play the fucking game. I've been grinding for Meg. If I take the blame, he's going to buy me a convertible when I get my license. Uh, M Meg, it's, it's not exactly taking the blame if you go around telling everyone. Peter is so nice to Meg. He would fart in her face in any other season. The level that he hates Meg is like so subtle. It was like a joke that he wishes she was a boy, basically. Well, suddenly I was public enemy number one. It was time to tell the truth. What? <laughs> Who the fuck is the narrator? Unable to think of a clever voicemail greeting, Jack got Ron Howard to do it. It's been a whole week since I've seen a TV show. Huh. Wonder what Scooby and the gang are up to right now. Gee whiz, gang. Oh, that's actually the Fred voice actor. What the fuck? Why is Velma tan? Did they predict the Velma HBO Max show? Why did they give her a darker skin tone? Must, must she, TV? We're not in Kohog anymore, guys. Elf! Elf! Shout out. Bro, Jack, I tried watching one episode of Elf just because, like, I was so curious. It is so bad. Peter, what the hell is that? It's my favorite TV family, the Griffins! <laughs> <laughs> this is like buying the new VR headset, the one where you can, like, also see what's in real life, but just never using the VR functionality. You're just walking around with the goggles on. Peter Griffin ruined television and blamed his daughter. Well, that's the lowest thing I've ever heard. <sighs> Peter, take that thing off. I like the background characters standing here, arms taut against their body like fucking NPC characters that haven't even been given idle animations. Stop! What is wrong with you people? Oh, okay, yes, my husband is responsible for knocking out TV. He doesn't even care! He's enjoying the show. This is like Dora the Explorer. It's like an interactive experience for Peter right now. You should spend some time with our kids, Peter, and with me. She tickled his chin balls. <laughs> the tickle nuts. Oh my god, bro. Holy shit. Can he get to cellular cancer on his face? It's very common for someone that fat to have to cellular cancer on his face. Why is this wholesome? I remember back when Family Guy was about the family. They balled together. They let Chris ball, Meg ball, Peter balled. Come on, everyone. We're late for the Bavarian Folk Festival. Okay, Peter and Lederhosen is, it's giving. He was born to wear a Lederhosen. But we're exhausted. 
Maybe we could just sit and watch some TV together. This whole episode is spend time with your family. Let's let's do activities. And then the family's like, actually, we're tired. Let's watch TV. <laughs> Hi, I'm William Shatner. My car broke down while I was on my way to give a speech about how TV keeps families together. He's like Gary's mod, like no clipping. William Shatner just activated no clipping in real life. I guess Family Guy is in real life. <laughs> this is such a weird joke. It's crazy because like Seth MacFarlane, like he loves Star Trek, right? And so much so that he just made his own Star Trek. And Peter's like his self-insert. He's like manifesting a relationship with William Shatner. Wait, did William Shatner die? Oh my god. She killed Shatner. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Would you stand on one leg? Sure. He's relapsing. It's like a clockwork orange right now. The Klondike commercial is so fire. No! Why is Meg saying like that though? Why? I'm not painting you. I mean, she's in the age range for Leo, but she's almost aged out of it at this point. Well, everything's all set for Stewie's birthday party. I can't believe he's almost a year old. Ew, why is Brian sitting like a dog in this one? Why is, that doesn't look normal. Oh, I really hate that. I really hate that. Oh my God, is it twins? No, it's a, the map of Europe. <laughs> That's such a good joke. Plans? What the devil are you talking about? It's your birthday, dude! Everybody else has a normal studio microphone. I swear to God, every time Seth Green talks, it's like the worst quality. He's on the fucking blue snowball right now. It's your birthday, dude! Well, don't keep me in suspense. How'd you do? I'll give you a hint. I S-U-C-K-E-D sucked, sucked! Yay! <laughs> Peter and Meg have such a strong bond in the, these early episodes. It's so weird. I don't fit in with anyone. Oh, boy, do I know that feeling. Oh, West Side Story. Well, shouldn't Peter Griffin be with the Puerto Ricans instead? He always touched me as like a Puerto Rican, you know what I mean? Just be the girl you think everyone else wants you to be. Wow. So this is the same plot as the last episode. Peter gives her bad advice and it like comes back to fucking haunt her. <gasps> Hi, can we use your phone? Holy crap, it's a children of the corn. <laughs> That's such a good joke. Oh my god, he was so wide in that last frame. Look how wide he is. How I came to be incarcerated in that amniotic attica. As I recall, it was every potential man for himself. Oh, this is like Stewie's rival. Is this where they got the inspiration for that Penny and Stocking episode from? I wouldn't be surprised. This is fucking awesome. One year hence, he's returning to rectify his mistake and... <gasps> Put me back in the womb. Look how cute he looks in his pajamas, though. I like that, like, almost the entirety of the soundtrack usage is just for Stewie. Yeah, well, he's so overdramatic in the first, like, couple seasons. And then they're just like, nah, Stewie's kind of just gay now. They just make Stewie gay at one point, and then that's just his character. Doggy style. Do you think he fucks with Snoop's album? That's the only rap music he listens to. We'll never find another place in time. That is insane. <laughs> Bro, look at him. Ha. <laughs> huh. It was you. <laughs> I've, I've been there, Peter. I've been there. Exact same interaction. You're one of them, aren't you? What are they paying you? I'll double it. I'll give you whatever you want. Money. Women. Men? Men? Bit of foreshadowing for gay Stewie. Foreshadowing. We're getting pigs for Stewie's petting zoo. <laughs> Why is he wearing clothes? <laughs> He's blowing the host. <laughs> oh no. You BS. <laughs> Little bastards ain't as smart as- <laughs> This is like a mishmash of so many things. That is insane. You know what's nice? Having a friend like Meg. And kittens. Oh, she have like brain damage or something? Weird. Jennifer invited me to a party on Saturday. This Saturday? Meg, you can't miss Dewey's first birthday. She's brainwashed? Oh, I remember. I remember this girl. She's a whiny little runt, isn't she? <gasps> I said runt. Put her down, Brian. Yo, let Brian say it, though. Let Brian say it. Oh, yeah, I can do like a handstand and some somersaults, maybe. I, I can make pretend like the children are little bugs in my web. <laughs> Bro, Family Guy's gas, man. I'm not going to lie. Stuart Gilligan Griffin runs from nothing. You know, son, running away never solves anything. Yeah, so this this pilot understands Stewie. It's so funny. Only hope my heartfelt thanks will keep you warm as you spend the next 10 years in frozen carbonite. Cut to 10 years later in the Family Guy airing. Do they bring this back? Only like five people would get it because like the life cycle of a Family Guy fan is like is either lifelong or like one year.
<laughs> this is f***ed. The two symbols of the Republican Party. An elephant and a big fat white guy who's threatened by change. That was such a forced joke. The family canonically can understand Stewie? No, I think it's like inconsistent. Meg's not here. She went to a friend's house. What? She's gonna miss Stewie's birthday. Is this his first birthday? Is that like why he doesn't understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know he was like actually like that young. I thought he was like two years old or something. It's the Kool-Aid cult. This looks delicious. Yeah, the Jonestown. The Jonestown cult. But every sprinkle I find, I shall kill you. I'll kill you. Turned into Jeff Dunham for a second there. I'll kill you! Meg, you seem sad. I like how they drop the need to be nice to Meg. Like, that's like, like, fuck Meg, dude. I hope she dies in the Jonestown cult. Like, I don't even care. <laughs> but he doesn't even know I exist. He must think I'm a total dog. Oh, that is so not true. Their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me. There, now if I can just find a midget with some gin, I'll be in business. Ryan, you're not supposed to say that anymore, man. Come on. I thought he was an enlightened liberal. It's 1999. Let him say what he wants, okay? Sadly, you will be used as decoys. But your children's children will know that you fell for a noble cause. Yo, his sailor outfit is hard, though. This is Tommy talking to the rest of the Rugrats right now. Except they're even dumber. You are confused adolescent desperately seeking acceptance from an undifferentiated ego mass that demands conformity. Wow, that sort of sounds more like me. <laughs> the impressionable youth, bro. Ah, oh, jeez, Meg, that's it. This day is more for your mom than it is for Stewie. Oh, with all she's given us, she ought to get whatever she wants. What are you fucking talking about? It took you 20 fucking minutes, you fat fuck. That's hilarious. To family. Oh, jeez, look at the time. <laughs> oh, my God. I cannot wait to taste this cake. The guy who sold it to me said it was delicious and erotic. That's such a shitty cake, Meg. You're being too picky. Like, it's got strawberries. It's got strawberries. They went to Walmart and picked out the fucking discount aisle. Greetings, man and what? I've been expecting you. Dude, is this a JoJo's battle or something right now? The the entire living room color palette has been shifted. It did change. I want to get the hell out of here. Oh, I'm sorry. We're fresh out of that. He can understand Stewie too. I think it's dumb adults can understand Stewie. What do you want most in the whole world? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Yo! Brian's fro is insane. That was an amazing episode. This show, season one, kind of gas, bro. Oh my god, Lois, the baddie, oh my god. She used to have so much characterization. What happened? Oh my god, it was a dream. It was all a dream. That is the saddest shit ever. Oh, you're just teething, Stewie. It's a normal part of a baby's life. Never have kids, because then you can't achieve your dreams, guys. The human race has to go extinct so we can achieve our dreams, chat. I, I want to say a toast to you. Qu Quagmire, Cleveland. Brian. Where's Joe, bro? Why is Yeah, where's Joe? Is Joe not in the show yet? Okay, putting a wheelchair on a boat is kind of hard. Like, that is a lot of effort. <sighs> She's too perfect, bro. She's too perfect. I'm kind of in love right now. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, this fuck. You're right. It's better if I do it. Oh, damn it to the bowls of bloody hell! Well, the baby's up. Yeah, the pre-Joe era is crazy. It feels wrong. It's like four episodes before Joe shows up. Please. All right, all right. <laughs> you know I spoil you. Oh my god. Oh, bro, it's rough. That's my goat. I should call it a time machine. E flat, Salieri, E flat. This is why he built the time machine is because he just didn't want to listen to piano music. That's a very surprising motivation. <laughs> it's the most mundane ass family guy. Oh, that's it. Hey, you hit my mom. Dude, oh my God. Call an ambulance. She's going into labor. <laughs> you mean he's going into labor? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god. I thought that was transphobic Peter Oak. Why don't you come with us? Oh, I can't leave the premises. They're monitoring my every move. Wait, they're in that room. They're in the room at the side of the house that they never go in. Yeah, this room's weird. The picture of Peter with the fish is so hard. He's so happy. Look at him. 
I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get That was so good. What the fuck? I love season one. Like, I actually love this show right now. Why don't I go buy some groceries and make us a nice romantic dinner? Bro, Lois is so sexy in this episode. That's the thing is that she's a mother, a woman, a role model. She's a mother, a woman. If you build a bar in this basement, your friends will come down here for a beer as well. How many natives does the Pawtucket Patriot kill? He harvested them into his beer, bro. If I walk through you, does that mean like we've done it? Jeez, what's with you and the gay jokes? <laughs> that was so good. That was so good. Peter isn't the bi representation that we want, but he's the bi representation we need. Oh boy, I feel just like Tim Allen. I build stuff and I have a criminal record. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Tim Allen's snorting transition is crazy. Need a green screen version of that. Oh, Peter. This is so sad. Fantasizing of a husband who is loving. It's so sad. No, not silicone, silicon. And the design of the device is quite ingenious, if I do say so myself. Who is this random woman? That looks like Francine from American Dad, bro. What is she doing here? You're in the wrong show. You're in the wrong show. I'm gonna need to see some ID. Chris, go to your room. He tried, he tried. The fact that he didn't say anything in reply makes that the funniest Chris joke of all time. Well, maybe one song. Pretend you like it, no matter how bad it stinks. Oh my god. Fuck you, Peter. And if I tried, I still couldn't hide. <laughs> I know. Doyo Yoing, what is going on here? This is up there with the Jessica Rabbit scene. Oh, now Peter's like, fuck, don't look, don't praise my wife. Fucking double standard, bitch. <laughs> We almost never see that room though. The forgotten family guy rooms that you've never seen before. This man has spent a little bit too much time in the Roblox family guy house. Gimme, gimme, gimme what I cry for. I liked that the whole thing was like she's a pianist, but then now she's just singing. Like that's her new thing. She's a way better pianist. If Lois were my woman, I'd keep an eye on her. Then again, I'm the jealous type. Brian is the goat for that. That's hilarious. No, he's a dog, not, not a goat. And her hooters ain't bad either. Now hang on a second there. Peter. I'm holding Hooters. <laughs> nice Hooters. Where'd you get the owls? This has been like the best grouping of episodes I think we've ever watched on the channel. Like just three consistent bangers. I just wanted to keep my bar. The whole reason I built that thing was so that my friends would come to see me, not you. Is that so? Such a selfish piece of shit. The beautiful thing is she did continue to sing because they kept using that same opening theme for every season. X on TV continued till this day. This next number is dedicated to my very support of husband Peter. Huh? Hit it! She's got a big band. How big is this basement? What is this? The proportions, the perspective is just out the window. She's not a very good singer. What are you talking about, Jack? She's an amazing singer. She's got pipes. A time machine. Well, sure, here's where the flux capacitor goes. I'll not stand idly by while you abrogate my plans. You shall rue this day. Rue this day. Neville reference? You'll rue this day, you'll rue it! That is the only other context I've ever heard that word used in my entire life. I'm gonna go grab some ozone. Wait, is that how they get rid of this plot line? They just burn it down? Quagmire would treat Lois so much better. There's the whole episode where Peter goes back in time and Quagmire ends up with her instead. And he does treat her better. So I ship them, I ship them. So <laughs> Oh my god. They're gonna solve it with a fucking time machine. That's the end of this episode. Got this video 15k likes for more. Thanks to our Patreons. Thanks to Aeromir. Alzheimer's is a bad disease. We should cure it. Atomic Leon. Bento. Kane Rivers. Calm Luke. Cosmic Dega. Crystal X Bunny. Frozen Spaghetti. G3 Om. Gub. Stargazer. Gioni Snare. Yorison. Helio. Hunter Pearson. Hummus, Isaiah Alford, Jace LaRue, K99, Kamui, Lilac Moon, Mirak55, Native5, Omega Waffles by the way, Patrick Case Randolph, Rocky Road with Sprinkles, Sean City Navy Gaming, Tieran Stills, Trinity Martin, Val Explicit, Victoria, Wyatt Lime. Thank you guys so much.